Hello people of the earth and welcome back to QuickSafe TV. My name is Mike and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Champion Mastery System in the League of Legends. The feature that will be coming rather soon, I hope, I hope very much because I would like to take a look at it more than, you know, than what I've seen in the PBE. Uh, the public beta environment account that was provided by my friend Nexon. Nexon, dude, thank you so much, man. Without you, this video would be completely impossible. Now, um... Just two words about it, right? First and foremost, if you would like to have more information about the system, go ahead to either the official site or the Surrender 20, at which Surrender 20 is this cool site which gathers all the kind of cool information about League of Legends, summarizes the red posts and such, and you can read it uh, very easily there. They have a really cool summary of the Q&A that Riot ran on the 13th of March. I will provide the link in the description below. Now, um, on what I wanted to mention is basically just look, take a look at this thing, right? So you're in the game, you're you're in the lobby, right? Um, in the lobby of what, of the game. There's nothing happening. So if you go to uh, profile to your profile, you will be able to see your profile in the following fashion: the classical uh, border that we're used to from the past, and then below it you have on the left your top champions, and on the right your ranked stats. If you keep scrolling here, you can see classic, dominion, aram, etc. Who cares, right? Point is. Here you have the ch top champions. From in here you will have three of the champions that either you have leveled up first. I'm not, not clear on that yet, or the ones that you've accrued most points on. Now on the same leo, in, in the same leo, right? Once we accrue the level five on the champion, I'm wondering if we will keep seeing the new points that we accumulate. If so, it will be really cool because you will be able to like compare with friends. For example, say you're both Draven mates, right? And then you say, say you have 10,000 points um, and he has, I don't know, whatever, like in total, like, and he's like eight. And you say, oh yeah, I played more games or I play better Draven if we played the same amount of games. And then you combine the, te the champions, uh, the top champions and the ranked league. And then you can say, oh yeah, this guy is a pretty good Draven, or this guy is a pretty shit Draven, this guy is a pretty cool Cannon, this guy is a pretty cool Fiddlesticks, etc, etc. And I think it's really cool, because it's a combination of two systems, of two worlds, and I hope we will be able to see it on other people's profiles. And as I close my Facebook, because I'm completely unprofessional, sorry boys, um, yes, also... This, besides seeing the three champions here, right now I only have Draven because I played one game and I could not stomach the lag, I cannot come back there. 245 MS is almost literally killing me. My eyes are hurting, my headache just goes rampart and I don't have any um, don't have any intention of coming back. Now, you will be able to see also the champions in progress. Eight of your champions that you're leveling up currently. Currently it's Draven, but uh, it could be others as well, on which you can also see the amount of points. There's, there it says 800 out of 1,800 which means that, you know, on a level of 1, this is when I'm going to reach level 2, when the circle completes, and etc, etc, until I reach, reach the final level 5, that is planned for now, but they said that they want to expand the system, which is really cool. Now, one thing that uh, upsets me a little bit is that in match history, you cannot see the performance on the champion. I would love to be able to by default, see, oh yeah, I had a victory or defeat on Draven, what was the score that the game given me, right? Because I want to be able to not only see it after the certain game, I also want to see it, generally speaking, on my list. It doesn't. It's not necessary if other people will see it, but I want to see it for myself, so I'm able to, you know, identify if, if I'm improving, if I'm going worse, what is the problem, so I can start being um, concerned, or I can start worrying about the problem and trying to fix it. Also, it doesn't tell me what, how many mastery points I got, which is kind of important, but also it doesn't mention IP, which is kind of weird, quite honestly. I don't think it ever mentions it anywhere. It doesn't, right? No, it does not, which is really, really weird. I think it should because it's really necessary information. Now, on the champion screen, there's another cool feature. You can now sort your champions by alphabetical. Uh, this is the second take of the video, so yeah, this, <laughs> I fucked everything up. Um, in, the, in the alphabetical, nothing changes, right? This is the classical sorting that you have in League of Legends. But now, if you start so sorting champions by their mastery, Right? You will see your champions first that are cool, and then the alphabetical boys. So right now it's currently Draven, right? It could be other champions too, depending on what champions you play. So you have like 20 champions that are... You're, you're playing a lot, right? And you can see different masteries on them. You can easily identify because the mastery icons uh, distinguish uh, them quite easily. And on top of that, you have um, a very easy way to understand what's up. You know, what is the level, how many points I had, etc, etc. And you can also see the recently played, which is really cool if you put it in context of, say... 
marksman, right? So we select the marksman and we select most recently played. And I can see my last, let's say, five champions that I've been playing, say, Draven, Jinx, Lucian, uh, Corky, Graves, whatever. And I will be able to say, oh yeah, dude, I wasn't playing a lot of Varus, I wasn't playing a lot of uh, Queen. I should try to play them a little more often, etc. And it's really cool for a player, and I think this system could be even cooler, but it's really cool what they've implemented so far, because it's already a step up on what we currently have on live. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. I think this system is really cool for several reasons. Uh, even though they've mentioned this is not the measurement of skill or whatever, it's just a progression system, I think it's a really cool... Um, I think it could be treated as such, as a, um, as a skill system, if... Uh, if that's what you want to achieve, because that's what I will be doing with it. Um, especially when they add more levels than five, I will be trying to reach the mastery on a champion in order to say, oh yeah, now I'm a pretty good Varus, oh yeah, now I'm a pretty good this and that, so that I have my, a certain metric of measurement uh, to say that, oh yeah, I've been practicing a little bit and I've been performing rather well, so I think I'm progressing, because... Ranked is a whole other thing, it's a whole other issue. Sometimes you're, sometimes you're performing very well, but... Uh, because you with your team collectively cannot capitalize on your successes, it doesn't work. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not uh, playing as well. It's rather normal to, um, in solo queue currently, not to be able to win games due to whatever happening, right? So you, you see what I'm trying to say here. Despite the fact that Riot explicitly said that it's not um, a skill system, I think it could be such if we treat it as such. And yeah, basically that's my two cents on it. And I thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed the video and my commentary, do not forget to put a like on this video and favorite it. Uh, check out the description uh, for the Surrender 20 link, read the uh, small article, it's really, really cool. And that's that. I'll see you around, have a fantastic day, and bye-bye.